In the ever-evolving world, we are at a pivotal point in our history. As we move into the future, fascinating questions are being raised about what our world will be like in the year 2050. Let's take an imaginative journey to the world in 2050, a world that promises scientific discoveries, technological advances, and a new way of life, the MUCAP. This gigantic and sprawling megaproject is the size of 20 Empire State buildings and features race tracks for flying cars, as well as immersive experiences that mimic visits to other planets. Autonomous cars are no longer just a vision of the future. In the capital of Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, plans are underway to build a huge sea within the city. This sea will be complete with racing tracks for flying cars and immersive experiences that simulate visits to other planets or worlds, where people will rise above regular-sized buildings. Introducing the MUCAP, name derived from the Arabic word for Q. This sprawling megaproject will act as the focal point of the surrounding new Muraba project, which aims to expand the capital's footprint to house approximately 350,000 residents across more than 4,695 acres. The MUCAB will reach a height of 1,312 feet and will offer a mix of residences, hotels, office spaces, outdoor parks and pedestrian walkways. Inside, Immersive futuristic experiences of space will be created through holographic projections, like giant-sized people, Dubai Healthcare City. The idea of designing the Dubai Island Ring is based on the approach of looking to the future and providing a multifunctional complex focused on medical services. The creative integration of a digital approach, sustainable architecture, as well as the geographical and social conditions of the region have been taken into account. And attention has been paid to the future needs of Dubai at all stages of ideation and design, which has led to the formation of the final result. Access to this island will be through underwater transportation systems, such as a monorail and electric cars. Different stations have been designed to access each part of the island, Due to a pedestrian-oriented approach, the entrance to the island is underground and cars are not allowed to go up or enter the island. The crescent shape of the site plan is symbolic of the architecture of the Dubai region and the geometry of the Burj Al Arab, as well as Muslim religious elements such as the lunar month. Furthermore, an abstract combination of parametric shapes and Islamic geometry patterns have been used in the grid design for the site and upper levels. Skyports Skyports announced Australia's first electric air taxi port. They have presented a modular design of Vertiport developed by Contreras Rural Architecture, which can be implemented anywhere in the world. Just one week after Skyports, a Vertiport company in Australia revealed its intention to build Melbourne's first air taxi terminal network. The company launched a database to assess and categorize potential urban mobility infrastructure locations. Air around the world. During the World Air Taxi Congress in Istanbul, Turkey, the company also announced that it has opened its real estate partner database to accept registrations for potential vertiport locations around the world. According to Skyports, the design was developed with site-specific help from Arab and to 70 Aviation. These impressive sculptural buildings can be installed on components packed in shipping containers anywhere in the world. Future Sustainable City on Mars The architecture firm Ababo has designed the concept of a self-sufficient city on Mars called NOAA, which could be built in 2054. The architect explains the design project to locate it inside a cliff on Mars. NOAA was designed for the nonprofit organization, the Mars Society, with the goal of becoming the first permanent settlement on Mars. The vertical settlement, which could eventually house 250,000 people, would be embedded into the side of a cliff and built using materials available on the planet. Ababo founder Alfredo Munoz believes that building a large-scale permanent habitat on Mars is feasible within this century and that the planet has greater potential for settlement than the moon. According to statements to Zing, 
self-sustaining permanent habitats on the moon would be challenging due to a lack of water and critical minerals. Instead, Mars offers the right resources to create a fully sustainable settlement. Virtual Metrotopia Metaverse The Metaverse has launched and is taking the world by storm, bringing new opportunities for showcases. An exhibition in the Metaverse refers to an event or display that takes place within this virtual reality space, which combines elements of the physical and digital world. It is a virtual exhibition that allows participants to explore, interact and experience different presentations in a digital environment. Within the Metaverse, Metaverse exhibits can showcase a variety of content, including artwork, products, multimedia presentations, virtual installations, interactive experiences, and more. These exhibits can replicate physical objects or feature fully digital creations. Metrotopia has been launched on June 6, 2023. It is a unique initiative in the metaverse, dedicated to becoming the virtual communications center for the global design community. The Iconic Villa Designed by Zubaydi Mad. The area of the iconic villa is 2,000 square meters. This villa represents a completely different lifestyle in a futuristic world, where transportation is done by planes and hovercraft. It is the only villa of its kind in the futuristic world. It was designed considering the characteristics of that time, and it is accessed by planes or hovercraft. What does life hold for us in the future? Life will change drastically. In the year 300, people will not drive cars, they will be able to travel in hovercraft, time machines, and even use the new teleportation system. They can just fly where they want to go. Futurism is the modern design trend characterized by dynamic lines and a monochrome look that suggests movement and urgency. Dubai 2030 without sandstorms and dust. Have you ever experienced a sandstorm? If you've spent time in Dubai or any other city in the United Arab Emirates, especially during the spring and summer, chances are you've witnessed its tropical desert climate and massive sandstorms. We know that when these storms occur, they slow down and even, on a large scale, completely paralyze the daily life of the city. In addition, it is proven that sandstorms gradually cause respiratory problems, pollute the air and water, and end up destroying natural habitats. On the other hand, as you probably already know, Dubai loves and promotes creative yet functional ideas, and skyscraper design is one of the most popular types of architecture in the city. For this reason, at the Calvert Architecture Studio, we have decided to investigate and take advantage of this natural behavior of desert lands through architecture. We have challenged ourselves to provide a suitable solution to sandstorms in Dubai by integrating creativity and technology. Hotel Verona in Mexico In Hindu mythology, Verona is considered the god of water and rain, whose presence is essential to maintain the natural balance of the universe. This mixed-use residential and commercial project, located on a 6.5 hectare beachfront property in Tulum, seeks to express his wisdom through a harmonious fusion between nature and architecture. The dense and exuberant vegetation of the jungle integrates perfectly with the buildings and common areas of the complex, becoming the fundamental element that gives life to this project. The different houses are distributed organically, as if they were part of the landscape itself. In addition, there are extensive service areas that include a gym, yoga room, spa bar, lounge, business center, and conference room. These spaces promote reflection, learning and spiritual well-being. 